Welcome to this performance of Haydn's G major trio, also known by its nickname the Gypsy Rondo because of its ebullient finale. We're using instruments that Haydn may recognize certainly the sound qualities of. We'll hear in a minute from Dominica, the violinist, and from Andrew the cellist about how their instruments are slightly different. But the forte piano we're using is a copy of a 1785 Viennese instrument, and Haydn would have certainly recognized the clarity that it gives, the quiet, softly spoken nature of it, and the fact that when you play quite loud on it, the instrument becomes alive and has a really clattering effect, perfect for the finale. I'm performing this Haydn trio on a wonderful rotary violin, which is slightly early for the period, uh, but it makes such a wonderful sound, so I thought I would treat you to it anyway. Um, the other difference to um, what you might be more used to hearing this piece uh, is the bow that I'm using. So it's a classical bow um, which makes a wonderful sound and a uh, quite different character. Um, it adds a quite different character and, and flavour to the piece. Um, I should probably also mention the strings I'm using because they are made of gut rather than metal and uh, so they make a much warmer sound and I hope you like it. Uh, the bow I'm using is actually a slightly later uh, version of what they might have been using in the 18th century than, than what Dominica is, uh, has described. Um, it's actually from England um, in 1790s or around 1800, so perfect for this trio that Haydn wrote uh, at that time. Um, it's, it's already more... Uh, like the modern bow uh, in its shape, um, and this, uh, this metal ferrule that uh, was being developed both in France and England towards the end of the 18th century that uh, holds the hair in place and, and creates a very different way of playing, um, of articulating on the string. Um, the cello is Viennese, so perhaps these, the cello and bow together trace Haydn's journey somewhat. Um, maker Matthias Thier, who also uh, made a cello that found its way to uh, Esterhazy while Haydn was working there.